<sighs> Wait, what is this? This is so boring. Whoa! <laughs> yes! Super short video today, lens flares. Some people love them, some people hate them, and some people love talking about how much they hate them. I love them. And sometimes when I can't get a natural lens flare, I just add one in post. But of course, when you start adding lens flares like that, you have to be careful. Don't go crazy and add a lens flare in every shot of your video. In my last video, I added one little lens flare because I felt like the flare that was already there wasn't strong enough. So let me show you a super simple way to add a moving lens flare in DaVinci Resolve. You don't need any plugins and it literally takes two minutes. That also means that you won't get a hyper realistic lens flare that moves at different speeds, you know, with aberrations and the whole shebang. But sometimes, you know, simple also looks good. Okay, so the first thing you need is an image of a lens flare. Not a video, but an image. You could also use a video of a lens flare, but then it gets a bit more complicated. So, an image. Just Google free lens flare overlay or something like that and a bunch will pop up. Pick one that you like, download it and that's it. And for the technique that I'm gonna show you, you need a super simple lens flare. So, not one of these that have these, yeah, what is that, aberration effect? Because to make a flare like this realistic, you have to make all these elements move at different speeds. And if you want that, then you really have to use a plugin to create a flare. So pick one of these simple looking flares. And then just drag and drop the lens flare on top of your video clip. In the inspector, set the composite mode to screen, reposition it, and boom, nice looking lens flare. But now the lens flare doesn't move with the video, so that's the next part. We can fix that with just a few keyframes. So let's go to where I want the flare to appear, right here, position it. And then add a keyframe here for the position. Then we move to where I want the flare to disappear again, maybe over here, add a keyframe again and reposition the flare. And then shorten the clip so that the flare disappears. Okay, let's play that. See, now the flare moves with the light source. But the problem now is that it appears and disappears too sudden. So I'm also gonna add a cross dissolve at the beginning and the end of the flare. Right click and add cross dissolve. Then you can pull these handles here to make the dissolve longer or shorter. And that's it, super simple lens flare. Now, depending on the file you download and the type of flare, sometimes when you reposition the flare, you'll see a hard line like this here. And that's the edge of the image. Usually that's because there's not 100% black at the edge of the image. And that's what the screen composite mode here needs to make it transparent. So in that case, what I do is I go to Photoshop or another editing program. And then I paint with pure black, 100% black around the flare, all the way to the edges. Save the file. And now if I would use this file, there won't be that hard line around the edges. And that's it guys, a super fast way, a super simple way to add a lens flare. Hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.